y'all. I'm at work today, but I thought I would hop on here and show you this because I see this happen a lot at the shop. People bring their chainsaws in and this is something that they do not check and it can completely ruin your day, ruin a brand new chain. So let's check this out and see if it's something that you need to check before you start cutting. All right, so when you start to cut, before you do, you need to check how um, tight your chain is on your bar because if it loosens up at all, or even while it's cutting, you need to stop and tighten it up. You also need to check and make sure that your chain catcher, it is what actually the chain hits whenever it pops off or anything like that. And so over time, it keeps going up farther and farther and farther until it's bent up so far that if your chain gets barely loose, it's going to catch on it and rip your chain off of your chainsaw. And that is what happened to this guy. He uh, brought it in with his chain still on the saw, but not on the bar. And once it falls off like that, it slings back up and it will hit the chainsaw and mushroom out the, uh, the drivers here. So it completely ruined his chain. We're gonna bend that back down and uh, put him a new chain on here and get him going. But you don't want that to happen to you. So check your chain catcher. Bend it down. So I've taken this one apart so I can de demonstrate exactly how far the chain uh, catcher needs to be down. Now this one is, is perfect. It has not been bent at all. You can see it has never even hit it. It's still got its uh, perfect edge right there. And as the chain gets loose and comes around, it'll catch that if that has been up any. So just make sure that your chain catcher is not in the way. Bend it down if you need to. And that way it'll save you some time, money, and frustration in the future.